Now God tells them, because of these things, they are to have a clean camp. And the sanitary conditions were important. God told them about their sanitary conditions, what they were to do. That's an important thing. And it's been Christianity, by the way, friends, that has improved the sanitary conditions. Now, we hear today about pollution. Who polluted this universe? It wasn't Christians that did it. It wasn't God that did it. He gave us clean streams, clean air, clean water, clean everything. It's man, sinful man, that's polluted this earth today. Now, if men were following God, and that's the best way to clean up this earth in which we're living today. Now, notice what he says, verse 14, For the Lord thy God walketh in the midst of thy camp to deliver thee, and to give up thine enemies before thee. Therefore shall thy camp be holy, that he see no unclean thing in thee, and turn away from thee. Now, God's interested in cleanliness, by the way. Who is it said? Was it Wesley said cleanliness is next to godliness? I think it's closer than that. I think it's part of godliness, by the way, to be clean. Clean in body, clean in environment, clean in mind, clean in thought, clean in action. We're to be a holy people in this world today. Say, this is very practical, is it not? Now, he has something else to say here that gets right down to the nitty-gritty. Verse 17, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. There were very few harlots among the Israelites. A friend of mine told me when he was over there in this land today that at one of the hotels he was approached there in this matter. There were harlots, apparently. But God said among his people, there's not to be a harlot or not to be a sodomite of the sons of Israel. And thou shalt not bring the hire of a harlot or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord thy God for any vow, for even both these are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. This is tremendous, by the way. This is great. It is something that is very important for us to see today. God will not accept, nor does he want, any income that comes from that which is illegal, that which is immoral, and that which is wrong. Now, I'm going to say something that I know is not popular, but I want to say it. I do not believe that any Christian organization ought to receive anything from the liquor industry. And I thank God that Two schools in this country several years ago turned down a gift from a large brewery, but a hospital accepted the gift that was sent to them. And a great many try to cover up with that by giving, as they say, to charity.